And the robot we're working on today is called Thor, uh, and it's the DARPA Robotics Challenge is designed in order to be a uh, disaster response. It's modeled after a number of different things for a humanitarian aid sort of mission. Some of the most difficult challenges uh, in creating a humanoid robot like this is integrating all the different systems. So no one person on this robot knows how the whole thing works. Really, uh, one of the more challenging parts is getting all the subsystems to work together and talk together and, and actually get it to work in real life. One of the main components on the robot that I've focused on are the actuators. You can consider this on a humanoid the same thing as the muscles in your legs. Thor has a much larger range of motion due to the new actuator design. It shows that we can achieve a range of motion that would be very difficult for a human to sustain comfortably for long periods of time. So some of the tasks that Thor will have to do uh, is get into a utility vehicle and be able to drive from one point on a scene to another. It's going to need to be able to walk across a rubble field uh, with all sorts of debris, cinder blocks, two by fours, pieces of plywood, all sorts of manipulation, locomotion, uh, and then perception tasks to kind of perceive its environment and give that back to a user. The robot right now knows that it's about to go uphill, but it doesn't know what the terrain looks like. And so it's figuring out on the go how it has to balance itself to stay upright. It's hugely difficult for a human to be able to do all of this. And for us to get a robot to that same state, it's still a ways for us to go to make it to the human level. 